Hey Seeker, I'm so excited to announce this. If you don't care or don't want to know, feel free to skip this uh, and just go straight to your reading. All good. Love you anyway. Um, I just completed Tarot Masterclass after 14 months of this amazing, intense shamanic journey of me um, going through the condensed energies of each of the cards and creating a somewhat of an Akashic Records, a library of the tarot. Each tarot card receives its own video that is very comprehensive, that includes all the standard interpretations that we know from different points of view throughout history. But of course, to add to those, my summing of them and my extra oomph and, you know, me doing what I do. Um, so I teach the path of tarot in Tarot Masterclass Bunkai. Bunkai means hidden applications, the secrets of the knowledge, the, the things that are normally hidden from us um, throughout time because, you know, knowledge is power and power brings with great responsibility. So it's all on Vimeo. It's an extensive library. Uh, you can either purchase the classes separately if you're not interested in becoming a Tarochi or learn the path of tarot or go through the shamanic journey with me um, or, or, or live live the life path of you know Torah of the tarot um, all good you can just be curious about several cards and you can pick and choose the ones that you want to know about so you can either pick and choose a few or you can take all of them for those of you who really want to go through the journey you know uh, choose the pill of knowledge and um, and have all the classes I made a buy all option that makes it more affordable so don't skip that in case you're planning on having them all because it will be easier in your pocket um, with that with that said it's probably one as far as I'm I'm aware of one of the most comprehensive intense um, online classes webinars however you want to call it when it comes to tarot and it is forever you will be able to download it to your PC or to a hard drive and come back to it 20 years from now. Um, but it will feel as if we are one-on-one -on -one in my living room and me teaching you about each of the cards and how to connect the dots. Um, if you don't want to download it, it's also fine. You can just stream it, stream it through Vimeo and have it, you know, saved online. All good. So yeah, Seeker, I, 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 I made this for us. I put my blood, sweat, and tears, and joy, and heart, and light, and shadow work, and light work into it. Um, 14 years of immense studies and of work with the tarot are put into it. Um, I shot this class throughout six different homes. Uh, I did a, a cross countries um, trip. So you have videos that are shot in so many different places and circumstances and in my own you know very varied human condition um, it is fantastic and I'm so excited that I've reached this peak I just finished shooting the epilogue yeah so okay now to your reading link to all that is below uh, in the description box I love you Hey Seeker, welcome back to The Existential Shift. This will be your Gemini placements and energies messages for this coming month of July. This, this is the After Tarot. If you forget the name that I said, either, either um, rewind or you know go to the description box. I'll write it below, amongst other things. Okay, let's just get to it. Gemini's for July, eclipse season. Can you even see me? Where's my forehead? Where's my forehead? All right, Gemini's. For July. Quiet, are we? Hmm. You're planning. You're going quiet because you're planning something. You're up to something. What are you up to, Gemini? I don't know if I want to know. 
I regret asking. I'm just kidding. Let's see. Queen of Wands. Lovely. So you're planning something fun. All right. You're throwing a party? Are you throwing a surprise party? Am I invited? Is there chocolate cake? I like with the coconut sprinkles. No, just, you know, in case I'm... Ooh, High Priestess. Is this a magical birthday party? Is it a bachelorette party? With tarot and crystals. This is getting more and more fun. Nine of Cups. There is some sort of a celebration. Um... You know, to mention something, to commemorate, no. to honor something or someone, or but this is looking really fun. I genuinely but want to be invited. Is it for me? Can it please be for me? I know some Gemini's. I want to call all the Gemini's that I know. It's like, are you planning something for me? Please, thank you. In case you weren't, can you please plan something for me? King of Pentacles. Oh, let's, okay, let's be serious. Although it is a very possible um, option. Some of you are going uh, independent freelance, independent, opening up your own business, it's something that you really love. Something that you really love doing, that you're really good at doing. And either with this King of Pentacles, either you have very sharp business um, abilities or you're teaming up with someone. Someone is kind of serving as a, you know, consults you, helps you, guides you may even invest in you um, but with the high priestess and the queen of wands this is not energy that you can tell it what to do you can't tell queen of wands and high priestess especially together what to do it's not you, know, you don't want to well, they know they know magic it's an energy that knows magic that knows the ins and outs of energies and of wisdom um, and the reason you can't tell them what to do is because you just don't know any better. Even though whatever they do might seem unreasonable to you, they know what they're doing. So maybe it's just a financial kind of help. Maybe you're literally landing a job that is everything you've ever wanted. The devil kind of peaks, but it didn't fall out. So we'll see if it comes out again. Ace of Wands. Okay, Gemini, this is looking really good. Um, you're working on something. This could be a project, a dream of some sort um, that you have an accomplishment with when it comes to an achievement. And there's highly creative, this really wanted hangman, uh, highly creative energy. You, you want to start right away, but there's something holding you back. I don't know if it's a situation, a person, uh, or just circumstances that kind of are asking you to retrieve for a little bit. This could be the energy that I felt in the beginning. You're like going quiet a little bit, going back to into yourself to plan properly and since I have the Queen of Wands here, this is the first card. This may be something that you want to initiate, start, expose more towards the end of July slash August. Which makes total sense with the eclipses. If you want to announce something right now, I recommend to wait until August. 
the energy will be easier and better. There's a lot of retrogrades right now. There's a lot of, uh, it's like swim, swimming in murky waters. Even if you're the best swimmer, still the ocean is stronger than you are. Space is stronger than you are. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe you're asked to be taken a little bit of back by energies because there are small details that you want to, you know, look over again more closely. Go over again more closely, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm getting that this could be like a situation in your life that you need to tend to uh, and care for, which is the thing that might create the delay. It's for the better. And if you'll consciously decide that you're waiting with this, then energy won't feel like it has to stop you or force you, and then the thing will kind of resolve. In Hebrew, there's a phrase called akavah tova. This is something you need to, uh, every delay is for the better. Something to keep in mind in this case. The world card. Yes. Um, lovely. Really lovely. So whatever this says, you're planning either something big or of some sort of an expansion, maybe farther from where you live. Uh, maybe you already have a business and you want to uh, expand it abroad or open up more branches or just communicate what it is that you do in, in, you know, in, in more um, in different places. You could be an advisor of some sort, advising to foreign, um, what's the word, foreign people, organizations in regards to whatever it is that you're doing. I am seeing some sort of duplicity, Gemini, not in a negative way, like somewhat of like, this could be a job of some sort where you are in the spotlight, you are being seen by people and heard by people, but you don't really show all the cards, like you don't really express Fully what it is that you do or the reasons why you're doing what you're doing it's it's very spy like kind of energy uh, you know this could be also like you know when someone uh, uh, when their job is to go into organizations and learn about them so they can gather Intel kind of thing not necessarily but could be it's like someone taking a job somewhere um, just as a camouflage. Like there's a lot of chameleon energy here. So interesting. Justice and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, this is getting deeper. This might be something that you know, isn't like necessarily, um, this could be you working for the government also. And I'm getting several things here, so you take what is yours. Um, maybe it's your job or position to bring balance into a situation or, uh, you know, expose a certain truth. Um, bringing someone, bringing justice, like exposing someone, um, so far I haven't been getting negative things though, so I'm thinking like it's something good that you're doing, or for the sake of something good, now this doesn't have to be dramatic like, uh, 007 kind of thing. This could be maybe something that you're taking upon yourself like in your private life. Maybe you feel like you've been wronged and you want to 
prove that, you know, you, you want to show the truth. But it might require traveling. If you're already in the midst of this and this speaks to you, gather more information throughout July. There's more to know, so wait until August for the next step, whatever that means. Sometimes I don't know what it is I'm talking about myself. Okay, all right, great. One second, ooh. Eight of Pentacles fell in the reverse right after the Two of Pentacles. Be creative. Don't be like, um, don't be um, nitpicking on the details and how things should be by the book. Go outside the box and skip stages and things like that. Like the whole waiting for a month, waiting throughout July thing should be a part of a strategy, not because you need to be patient or something like that. It's not about that. It's just now it's time to be quiet. Let's be quiet. Now it's time to be loud. Let's be loud. Now it's time to wait. Let's wait. Now it's time to move fast. Let's move fast. Like be very, um, um, Chameleon like. Sorry. <sighs> Wanna look? There we go. Oh, come on. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Sons of Pentacles one after another. Mm, there might be money involved. Um, but like... Okay. I'm getting also like... Um, like a concern for um, for your work, for your create creation, for like feeling like maybe worrying that maybe people will take from you or steal from you or um, which could be the reason why you're, you know, keeping things under wrap like for a while here. Um, because you want to be cautious, you want to maybe, this could be, um, you know, make sure that you have creative rights, that you that is the all rights reserved kind of thing. You want to enlist everything properly before you show it. Um, that's cool, that's cool, that's smart. But here it's like, it's a little bit of a paranoid combination. I don't want to, God forbid, advise you to do something that then you know, to not be, that you won't be cautious enough and then you'll regret it, do whatever you need to do. But once you do the technical things, like once everything, you got everything covered, then there's nothing else you can do about it, right? So worrying or being paranoid isn't going to do you any good. Um, it's like you've been saving money. I'm also getting the need to save money and hold on to your pentacles. Some of you guys... Um, might be traveling for the sake of something, whatever it is out of the options that I mentioned. And, you know, it might come with a little bit more expenses than you thought. So be smart now and put a little bit money aside extra just in case. Ten of Cups. What is going on, Gemini? So this might involve family members. Um... Give me a sec. Mm. 
so many things are going on here at once that it's like that you feel like you need to juggle but all in all it's looking really 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 good especially considering our last card here look things look really good and you're being over cautious and that's smart but don't forget to also enjoy what it is you're doing like you're going from nine of cups to the ten of cups there is and we have the world here with justice this is also karmic spiritual resolution of completing a very important phase in your life um and it's almost like throughout july with the eclipses you will feel this you will feel the um the cycle closing resolving itself and almost going to feel like um you know like a a baggage is lifted off your shoulders but you're so used to walking with that heavy baggage that you're still holding on to that um to that weight it's, a, it's like here oh my god I'm, i feel like i'm lifted off like i feel so light now I can almost skip and then paranoia weight because of the because you're, you know the uh, muscle memory you're used to feeling heavy and having to um, maybe hide things or maybe carry certain things with you either emotional or physical or spiritual what whatnot um, so you're, it's almost like you're bringing yourself back to it don't it's okay allow the weights to be lifted off your shoulders this is this is massive um, relief of something that you may have been really burdened by for a long time or you've been working on for a really long time um, but this really releases you to be in a very kind of happy light-hearted place which is very good Gemini this is a great reading like I have no idea what it is this narrative narratives that came up and feel free to comment I read all the comments um, I'd love to know and I, I will I will continue this in the extended we have here um, we have two twos mm. Twelve twenty-one. These majors. Yeah, we're gonna continue this in the extended, and once I finish up with the uh, tarot aspect of it, um, I'll also do a gypsy oracle and rune reading for you guys. So all kinds of things can come up. But I kind of want to take out some gypsy oracles for this. For you guys right now for july just to see if they have anything else to add or kind of you know close the message properly let's see this is a short and sweet reading i like it gemini's what can we tell gemini's okay oh nice wow all right so i have maladi and priest in the reverse This might be this thing that you um, that is kind of derailing you and kind of holding you back from continuing and doing what it is that you want to do or that you were planning to do. Maladi is illness in Spanish or in um, or in Ladino. So it's in the reverse, okay? It's temp. I feel like it's temporary. If there is some sort of illness or a situation, of course, this is not to replace a doctor's advice. Do whatever your doctor tells you to do and continue your uh, healing process. But I'm getting that things are going to feel much better and that it is temporary. And it is the maybe, you know, maybe you have placements where this um, um, eclipse or the eclipses are really triggering you in some way. But something is uh, cancer season, the wave. So something is forcing you to kind of draw back in order for you to kind of splash forward in due time. Uh, who else had that? 
I think we all have that in common right now. Also, and this is very specific, if someone, you or someone you know is ill and you're only receiving spiritual or alternative treatment, the advice is to also, and I'm the first to support, but it doesn't have to be either or, go to also see a doctor. Okay, because there is some sort of alter alternative medicine here and I love it and it's great and it's fine and I do feel like things are going to be resolved. Um, but the message is to have a combination of both. Okay, great. I will continue this right now. Um, the link will be below in the description box. So scroll down and click to uh, see me in the extended um, I did a buy all option so if you want to watch several placements cross watching and all that you can do that all 12 videos and like the price of uh, four three or four um, you can book a private reading with me link to that is also below um, tarot masterclass check out the bunkai secrets of the tarot uh, kind of uh, Akashic records of a library that I made for the tarot and for the esoteric the way I do it um, if you want to learn about tarot for me and there's still the 2019 Ministers of Magic which is the extended yearly that you can check out and of course I'm on Instagram so join me there the existential shift um, thank you for all my new subscribers I had a flux of like tons of new seekers and I'm so excited to have you join my journey um, really grateful if you haven't joined yet um, feel free to subscribe and join our tribe of seekers uh, press the bell button if you're subscribed already even press the bell button and that will um, give you a notification of when your video is up so you won't have to constantly search for it or wait for it that's it i think i said it all i love you guys mucho and if i don't see you in the extended regardless i will see you in august Good luck with all this. Bye.